This is Solo, a Star Wars story in three minutes. Let's begin. On the planet Corellia, orphan children are made to steal to survive. Two young adults, Han and Kira, make an escape from their local gang. They bribe an Imperial officer for passage on an outgoing transport. Unfortunately, Kira is apprehended before they can escape. Han vows to return for her one day and joins the Imperial Navy as a flight cadet. When the recruiting officer asks for his surname, Han explains that he's alone, he has no family, so he has no surname. And so the recruiter gives him the surname, Solo. Three years later, Han Solo has been expelled from the Imperial Flight Academy Academy for insubordination. He soon encounters a group of criminals posing as Imperial soldiers led by a Tobias Beckett. Han attempts to blackmail them into taking him with them, but Beckett, serving as a fake officer, has him arrested for a desertion and has him thrown into a pit to be fed on by a Wookiee named Chewbacca. Luckily, Han is able to actually speak Wookiee, so he is able to persuade Chewbacca to cooperate with him and escape. Beckett soon decides to rescue them and enlist them into his gang to steal a shipment of Coaxium on Vandor 1. However, the plan goes awry with Beckett and his gang being attacked by a rival gang. And unfortunately, the attack ends with Beckett's wife and his ally being killed, and the Coaxium being destroyed. Beckett reveals to Han and Chewbacca that he was ordered to steal the shipment of the Coaxium for Dryden and Voss, who was a high-ranking crime boss in the Crimson Dawn crime syndicate. They travel to Voss's yacht, where Han finds Kira, who has since joined the Crimson Dawn and is now Voss's top lieutenant. Han suggests to steal some unrefined Coaxium from the mines of Kessel to help pay off Beckett's debts to Voss. Voss approves the mission. However, he insists that Kira goes with them. Kira leads the group to Lando Calrissian, an accomplished smuggler who owns his own ship called the Millennium Falcon. After reaching Kessel and the Falcon and infiltrating the mine, they manage to steal the Coaxium. However, Lando is injured in the heist, leaving Han to pilot the Falcon through the dangerous, uncharted Kessel run in approximately 12 parsecs to elude the Imperial blockade. The Falcon is heavily damaged, but Han manages to do the impossible and survives. On the planet of Savarine, Han is met by a woman named Envis who informs him that Voss is a really bad dude. And while Han already knows this, he does decide to help her. Han attempts to trick Voss, but the Crime Lord reveals that Beckett had already betrayed Han. So Han tries to take the Coaxium with him, only for Beckett to betray Voss again and escape with the Aquaxium and taking Chewbacca hostage. Kira manages to kill Voss and sends Han after Beckett. She contacts Voss's superior, one of the former Sith Lords, Maul. Kira then blames the failure of the mission on Beckett, keeping Han's name out, and Maul orders Kira to meet with him on Dathomir. Han catches up to Beckett and shoots him, saving Chewbacca. Kira leaves in Voss's yacht while Han and Chewbacca turn the Coaxium over to Envis. She then offers Han a chance to join the rebellion against the Empire. However, Han declines and she gives him a vial of Coaxium, allowing him to get another ship to get out of there. Later on, Han locates Lando and challenges him to a card game, wagering the Millennium Falcon. Han wins the Falcon and he and Chewbacca leave for Tatooine to work for someone named Jabba the Hutt. And that has been Solo, a Star Wars story in three minutes or less. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on vacations. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.